In his latest series on ancestry, Henry Louis Gates Jr. asks the question, where do you come from? Mexico. Russia. China. England. Jamaica. Ireland. Turtle Mountain. Italy. Bermuda. Japan. Guests learn about the arrival of their families in America. Lorenzo Longoria, unmarried, goes to New Spain for the appointment of Magistrate of Mexico on the 16th of June, 1603. 17 years before the Mayflower. You could write a family history. This is a movie. <laughs> these, these people are crazy. Five years after you got here, your great-grandfather became a naturalized citizen of the United States. That's great. <laughs> Whereupon the said Michael Guerin Jr. took and subscribed the following oath. I, Michael Guerin Jr., do solemnly swear I will support the Constitution of the United States. Within five years. That's, that's one of the greatest documents I've ever seen. That is fantastic. And just days after the Declaration of Independence in 1776, John became a delegate to the Pennsylvania Constitutional Convention. Wow. This is the Constitution of Philadelphia. This is... Oh, my God! That's absolutely amazing. That's John's signature. Wow. Wow. He's one of the founding fathers. Yeah. The search for roots moves beyond America. Ma Lin Guan was born in the Ming Dynasty in the year 1435. There you are. There he is. It's amazing. <laughs> I feel I'm in a Dickens novel. <laughs> Here are the papers. <laughs> Your family lived in one place for 400 years. It's extraordinary. It is extraordinary. Imagine how great it must have been. Yeah. Baldassaro Melino was born in the year 1625. Wild. That's impressive. And guess where they lived? They lived in Toronto Pelina. And that's my question. After so long there, why leave? Why leave? Exactly. There are surprising connections. Elizabeth, could you read the name of the top? John Lackland, King of England? King John the First, Elizabeth, is your 24th <laughs> great grandfather. The King of England? That is your blood ancestor. Wow. Together, these stories explain who they are as individuals. I always think that the more ways you can define yourself, the better off you are. I find it fascinating to know where people are from, why they speak their language, what was their history. Um, and I, you know, I think it's important to know where you've been to know where you're going. And who we are as a country. And so you look back at your ancestors and you see their part in American history, or at least see how their, their small part in American history changes what it means to be an American. Faces of America, coming in 2010, only on PBS.